Okay, let's try to make this one quick, hopefully. Uh, so today is the 20, is day 26. Dang, it's just going by. Uh, so far, getting everything done. Uh, what I wanna make a statement about today is don't cheat shit out. So as you know, I've been making, uh, I, I wouldn't talk about what I'm doing completely, but you know, been making mugs and stuff, or I guess these are sports mugs, beer mugs, whatever. And uh, even though I have like this super expensive ass paint, which I wasn't cheaping shit out. I got paint that is literally like a little 12 ounce can. It's like 80, 90 damn dollars, literally. But uh, a lot of it's for metal, but some of them's for glass. And no matter what I did, I wish I had when I actually gave it away. But um, it, it doesn't look as good as this. This is cheap ass tempera paint. And you can buy, I just bought a gallon of this shit for like 15 bucks. Well, anyway, uh, been trying, no, been just experimenting, trying to figure different ways to get the damn thing on. And, uh, you know, they say best to use a foam brush. Well, a foam brush, in my opinion, was like ass. Just doing this little, just left these streaks. And then I saw this thing on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out how he did it because it was smooth as hell. This guy applying tempura paint to glasses, little shot glasses, um, to put through his laser. And he, I'm, I'm positive this is what he was using. So I bought these from uh, Amazon. And uh, I mean, it put the paint on, but it left like a, a texture. So I don't know. So uh, I've been using an airbrush, but the airbrush takes so freaking long. It's like, man, you got, I mean, it's like, and it would get stuck. And then um, the paint would get stuck in it and like, uh, like build up and then like shoot onto the glass. And then uh, the one I have from works, that $50 piece of shit, it's absolute shit. Doesn't have enough pressure to do shit. Decorate a cake, I guess. So uh, anyway, uh, I finally decided I'm gonna go, because the airbrush I got, it's in the other room, I wish I had it here. Uh, it's one of those little battery powered ones it's got you know built in uh, charger and stuff and you don't have to have all the big ass compressor and the lines and all that shit. Cause it wasn't just cheapness, it was, I didn't want all that shit. So anyway, I decided that I'm gonna be making a lot of these damn mugs and then I just invested in some other stuff and it's like, damn, I'm investing all this money because uh, there's this dude, I guess now I know he's in Canada. He's got this attachment for the RA2 Pro that raises it up and you can tilt it at different angles and stuff. So actually I bought two of them. Originally I was going to buy one, but I went ahead and bought two because, you know, I have two RA2s because X2 lied to me, to my face. Yeah, they did. It doesn't matter which one I use on the D1 or M1 Pro, the D1 Pro or M1, the shit works. It's just a different plug. Yeah, but see, that's how they get your ass. They, they don't sell the plug. By the way, if you're an M1 user and somebody has a uh, RA2 Pro and it's from the D1 and you had the roller kit because you bought the uh, Pro version or something, just get the RA2. It works. I already tried it out. It works perfect. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, anyway, finally broke down yesterday. I went like, no, day four yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, you know, one of the big ass ones with the, the, you no, know, the compressor unit and all that shit. I just finished doing a glass in like 10 damn seconds. Shit was amazing. It's beautiful. That's why you shouldn't be cheap on shit. And I'm just saying that, you know, when you be cheap on shit, you end up just trying to make it work, fit in. You no, know, like when I didn't want to buy an iPod because I didn't want to give Apple any money because at the time I was an Apple hater. I'm sitting there trying to find all the workarounds. It's like shit came to more than buying a damn iPod. <sighs> okay, so uh, that's it for the day. Uh, right now, I can't believe it's taken her so damn long. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to see a client tomorrow, uh, 
ex-client sold his house two years ago and um had my wife sneak by take pictures of his house i'm going to do them into the watercolors you know kind of those of you didn't see my thing i think yesterday i'm doing these now and putting them in a nice frame and then like giving them to my clients so instead of, i'm not just going to do um clients forward i'm also going backwards slowly and just it's a good way to just drop by people's houses and shit uh that's all i got for you guys today i uh, did just get something in the mail today i haven't played with it yet uh it's a jump rope it's led jump rope that has leds in it and so when you jump the number of the jumps that you just did is like flashing in front of your eyes so i don't know if i want to see y'all uh, y'all want to see my fat ass jiggling while jumping. Okay, that's going to do it. See y'all later.